So one thing I've learned from making this video is that EA Sports does not care about the Chicago Bears. They really don't. So here is the all-time Chicago Bear lineup. And what's funny is Justin Fields is a 79. There is an 83 overall Justin Fields, basically, but he's NAT because he's a free order bonus. So I can't get him, which sucks. Yeah, I can't get the 83 overall uh, Justin Fields. Um, but he is currently an 83 in the game if you want to get the best version. I also cannot find a Cole Comment on the auction house. Like, no one posts him. So, yeah. The tight ends would have Cole Comment right here. But everything else on this offense is completely maxed out. I mean, we have the receiver right here. My man, uh, Smith, who is the interesting player. Let me tell you why he's interesting. So... He currently is found under the Chiefs team, right? If you go to the uh, catalog, he's under the Chiefs team, right? Well, he also played for the Chicago Bears. But he has the Panthers chem as his original card, you know, like logo slash team chem. But he's found under the Panthers chem. It's, 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 it's annoying. It's annoying. So the best running back of the game, you could already guess his sweetness got even better. By maxing out the Chicago Bears. I mean this card is glitchy to say the least. This card is freaking broken. 91 speed. Fastest player in Mutt right now. Um, We are 50 out of 50. So every one of these players is getting plus 2 strength. Plus 2 jumping. Plus 2 agility. Plus 2 acceleration. And plus 2 speed. Which is cool as anything. We have Khalil Herbert. We have Raheem Mozart. We do have Justin Fields and Nathan Peterman. There's no better quarterbacks. We got uh, Devin Hester, we got Chase Claypool, DJ Moore, and Darnell Mooney. Yeah, this is a star-studded roster. Now, the defense is where things get a little bit interesting. There's a couple players I did not get. Number one is Terrell Edmonds, because I do not care what it would do for the video. The guy costs 750,000 coins right now as an 87 overall limited time card. Let me get Series Redux come out, and then I'll give you guys a Terrell Edmonds on the all-time Chicago Bears, okay? I'm sorry, but I'm not spending 750,000 coins on one card, because that card should be around 500k, but last time I saw it was 750, which is outrageous. Not doing it. Now, normally, just like, you know, the all-time Bengal squad, which if you guys have not seen that video, uh, I'll just give you guys a little quick glimpse of it. You can see that we cannot get 50 out of 50 on an all-time Bengal squad. No matter what we do, we can't do it, right? Good thing about the all-time Bear squad is that Khalil Mack can actually change his position. Yes, he can play left, right end, or right outside linebacker. Which is the only reason we can actually get this to work. So, absolutely, shout out to Khalil Mack for being an a plus person slash player slash NFL entity in this video game that we spent all this money on because he can actually get left as a linebacker. And that means that, yes, he does also get um, the plus two to speed and all that kind of good stuff. And he's actually a pretty dang good card, man. He's actually a pretty dang good card. Now, of course, we also have Monte Teo, who played for the Chicago Bears, and he does have 88 speed. We also have Terrell Edmonds on the right at the linebacker position. He also 85 speed. Not bad. More of a coverage guy, if anything. Actually, what's his coverage rating? Because he is not... Wait, though, he's a run stuffer. Oh, this card sucks, man. Well, his 85 speed. I mean, he is 76 now, and that's not bad. That's not that horrendous. Okay, the card does not suck. The only cornerback that EA has given us, and this is not even... EA's fought at this point. The Bears are 0 3. They're the worst team in football. But the only cornerback we have is Kyler Gordon, who honestly is actually not even that good. But like, he's there and he exists. And I appreciate you, Kyler Gordon, because you know what's funny? The Bears have two high overall gold corners, right? One is the guy I have here. Let's go ahead and go over to the right hand side. You see Jalen Johnson? They actually have three. Uh, Stevenson's another guy. But they have three 
gold corners that are actually good because you can see I have a 75 and a 74 in this lineup. One of the three is also the guy, Kyler Gordon, who got the highest overall card. <laughs> oh, man. There's got to be Peanut Tillman, man. Peanut, Pac uh, Peanut Tillman. He played for the Bears, EA. Give us Peanut Tillman. Because this is going to be a long season if this is what the Chicago Bears look like in uh, the foreseeable future. Because I guarantee you, they're not getting any cards for a team of the week, okay? I hate to tell you this, and if you're a Bears fan, I hate to break it to you, but you probably already know, you're not getting any team of the week cards, right? The next big upgrade for your team, I guarantee you, is probably going to be Justin Fields, though. So, hopefully, we get a Justin Fields card sometime soon. I mean, I got to see real fast. Um, let me see. All-time Bears... Um, Mutt 22. Let me just see this. I want to see what we're looking at when it comes to, like, the best quarterbacks we can get. Alright, Justin Fields and Mr. Trubisky. They have Brandon Marshall, so eventually we might get able to get Brandon Marshall. Let me show you guys this. Because this is eventually a possibility. Is that we could get Brandon Marshall... If, you know, this actually works out. William Perry. I, I can't believe these are the best two quarterbacks. There's got to be a better quarterback to play for the Bears in history. Come on now. Jay Cutler. I mean, but... Jay Cutler's not going to get a legend card. Uh, wait. Oh, my gosh. There isn't anyone better. Because the Bears have that weird thing where they have not had a 4,000-yard passer in their league history or something. Like... Jimmy Mc, Jim McMahon, Jim Hardbar, Hardball, Rex Grossman, Kyle Orton, Nick Foles. There, there is literally nobody. There is nobody. Doug Flutie, maybe. There's no one who's going to get a good card. This Chicago Bears squad is absolutely fluffed. Because other than that, obviously, we have Evans. We have Quidel Patterson and the Fridge. The Fridge here. We got um, Nick Foles wide receiver card. <laughs> they do it. They do this team so dirty. Alvin Robinson, Devin Hester, Brandon Marshall, Mike Dicka, uh, Cole Clement. Why is like all these players this is from Madden 22 guys? All these players are like relevant today, which is sad because that just shows the show how much non legends we're getting of the Chicago Bears here. Jimmy Graham. Uh, Deshaun Gibson, Adrian Amos, Mike Singletary. This is not a squad that someone wants to build. I'll be honest with you. I don't even know if there are... Is there a better... Mutt, it, what did I put in? Did I put in Mutt 22? Let me put in Mutt 21. Maybe Mutt 21 had it better. I I hope they did. Um, Okay. Yes. Okay, so the Bears actually have a 90. Okay, the Bears in Mutt 21 actually had a pretty good overall. Oh, God. The person literally went with Dak Prescott. Because he got all the chems in Mutt 21. I remember that. Raheem Mozart, Barry Sanders. That's because he got all the chems, too. Fritz Pollard. Okay, Fritz Pollard is somebody actually new. Andre got all the team chems, too. Um, Roy Williams. Alan Robinson. Devin Hester. Okay, I mean, outside of all the team camps, this team sucks, man. Bears fans, how did you deal with this? I mean, yeah. Well, we're going to, as EA releases more updates, we'll get more updates to the all-time Bears squad. But I, I'm, I feel so bad for you guys because Bears fans, you guys are going through it. Peace out, guys.